that which uh, I would like to look into, which is the very paramount in a branch account. And uh, we have, like, we also have another uh, feed, like, like where you have a method in accounting. Now, we we're, talking, we're talking about the three methods in branch account, which is very, uh, we will restrict, we'll be restricted to that of two methods where we we'll leave uh, the third method. Because the one that is, do, that do normally comes out, they, are, they do normally test the knowledge of the student is uh, that of the second method. But uh, we are going to do the, uh, the illustration on the course that of the fourth method and the second method as well. So now, pricing method using in charging goods to the branch. This, this is a very better idea. The first one is the cost price. Now, why are they charging uh, goods to the when we are talking about? You know that the cost price plus profit will give you the selling price, which is the sales. Now, the company, if they, if they it is a trading company. Now, when they send the goods to the cost uh, to the branches. They send it at, in, at, at the cost price where the branches will fix price on their own. That is the, the method which is the cost price method. Now, the cost plus percentage method, this is, this is the kind of method whereby it is the head office that decides the selling price of the branches. Unlike that of cost price where the company, the, the head office will send goods to the branches where it is. Uh, it is on the other side of the branches to decide on how to fix their price. But here, it is the head of it under cost plus a percentage. It is the head of it that will fix the price, which they will prepare on behalf of the bank. And that of selling price is also another one as well. Now, let's look at the accounting entries under each method. We we'll talk about uh, that of a uh, cost price. Now, goods charged to branch account, uh, branch office at a cost. Goods may be used to, to the branch at cost because of the difficulties involved in predetermining the say, selling price. And that, that is the reason why, because of the difficulties when uh, the branch will want to fix price, so they may find difficulties in there, that is the reason why they do normally send it to branch. So what are the accounting entries? There are entries that are ledgers that we are going to prepare. Don't forget, you can't do without uh, preparing ledgers and that's very paramount in accounting. Now what are the accounting entries that likely to, to, you are likely to prepare when you are given uh, under the cost method? The first one is you prepare branch stock account. Then the second one will prepare goods sent to branch account. Then the next one will prepare branch de debtor, debtor account and that's why you must be grounded in the control account very well because the same way you prepare the control account that's also how you prepare the branch debtors and that is telling, that is telling us that uh, you know branch also uh, has the credit sales where uh, customers are owing the branch so they prepare the branch debtors to adjust and know the balance of the debtor at the end of the day now and don't forget you prepare the, the fourth one which is the profit and loss account and that is a uh, helps you to know the performance of the branch so that are the four ledger that uh, we are going to prepare now so let's look at the format this is, this is the format for branch stock uh, branch stock account who sent to customers and the uh, branch debtors and account and profit and loss so these are this is how the format looks like there's some information that will, will be posted we put in the debit side and that of the credit side. So that is the, the format for the uh, cost price uh, method. We have the, we have uh, on debit side we have the balance BD, goods sent to branch, return to customer to the head of his profit, return by customer branch selling price then, and they don't forget at the, uh, on top under that branch branches account we have a cost price. Because it is the goods is sent to the branch on cost price, which the branch will fix the selling price on their own. So you can see that uh, at the at the top of the format, you will see that you have a cost price at the end of the day. But you don't do that on the branch debtor because it's a control debtor account is a control account, and also profit and loss is just to uh, to ascertain the net profit at the end of the day. So now let's go to the illustration for the method one, which, which is the cost price. Obela will limited operate a retail branch at Haba. 
All purchases are made by the head office in Onicha and goods are charged to the branch at cost plus 50%. Now, all cash received by the branch is remitted to the head office and don't forget that any transaction that was made by the branch, everything, all account that was paid will be remitted to the head office. Now, let's look at the information. It said on 5th January 2000, stock has start at invoice price amounted to 99125 then and debtors to 1046. Don't forget, there is what we call when we call something invoice price. It's also the same thing as the selling price. And don't forget this this kind of question is uh, the goods is charged to the uh, to the branch on cost price. How do we go about it? There are some strategies and techniques we use. There are some ways we can con convert selling price to cost price and also cost price to selling price. When we get to the preparation, you see how we go about it then. Another information we have during the year ended 31st December 2000, the following transaction took place at the brand. And who sent the customer at invoice price? You can see that there, there are some information that we put at invoice price. And that is the where we have to be very careful. You see how we convert the invoice price to the cost price because we have to charge that goods to, uh, to the branch at cost price. So then we have good invo invo good invoice to the branch as at the uh, 462. Then we, we are told to prepare the necessary ledger account using the cost method. We take the uh, information one after the other. So sit and uh, sit back and relax and see how we are going to prepare this uh, cost, cost method we are talking about. Now. As, I, as I've said the other time, that uh, it is a cost price method. So there are some goods here that they are sent to branch in the information at invoice price. We now want to convert it to the cost price. The first one is uh, the first one is goods sent to branch. Goods sent to branch, we are given at the selling price, which is the invoice price. Invoice price is always given at selling price at the 30,870. 30, now, we now want to change it because there is what we call margin and markup. Margin is for selling price and markup is for cost price. Now, we now want to change it. In the question, we have, they said, Obelawo, operate here, all projects are made on every and good are charged to the branch at cost plus 50%. Now, this is what you do. 50%. They said cost plus 50%. That means profit has been included in that cost, and the when profit is included, it becomes selling price. Now, we now want to change it. Divide this, you have two. Now, so this is your cost price. Now, what, what you now do here is that the, you, you want this is the cost, this is the cost. This is the, our cost price is 50 percent. Are we? Now you add the uh, the nomination, you add it with the you add the nomination with the denomination under. We have a one over three, which is the profit. Now, what we now do here is that you write profit. That means profit has been included in that selling price of which you want to remove so as to have your cost price. Now, this is your cost price. And uh, there is another thing I want to tell you is that uh, you, you, that means you convert markup to margin. Then, if you are told to convert margin to markup, also, you can also say, when one with three minus one and that, that will give you if you are told to, be, to convert this margin to convert it to markup you can also say one three minus one and that will give you one over two back so but here you must first find the margin so as to get it from the profit here 
the selling price so as to get your cost price at the end of the day. So that is one over three then of 30,870. So profit there in is a 10,290. Profit gain. Now you want to remove profit, you know that the cost selling price selling price is a cost plus profit. Now, so we now want to remove profit from the selling price so as to get our cost. So what we now do is that 30 870 minus 10,290. So that is a so cost price for the goods sent to branch is a 20,580. So that is a, that is what is going to the cost account. So that is that. So you you will do the same thing to everything that has to do with stock. That of opening stocks, you know, good sense to call a branch. Is, is it not stock? It is stock. Then returning was, they are also stock. Opening stock, they are also stock. Closing stock, they are also stock as well. Now, the next one is a good return. So you change all those stocks that, is, that have been done in invoice price, you convert it to uh, cost. So good to head office. So then the same thing, but most of the times, since the profit is this, you can also do it like this. There's another method you can use. This is the profit. Uh -huh. When profit is one over three, that means cost will be two over three. You can also do it like this. Two over three times that cost good return 